Hi there guys, welcome back to Tom Voyage. So today we're talking all about wood. We've got the Uni Premium Assorted Oak Pack here. We're gonna unbox it, see what's inside, light it up on the Carew 16, and let you know what we think. So Uni started doing these kits where you get kiln dried logs from a sustainable source. They're cut to the perfect size and they also supply them with fire lighters. So I've got hold of a box here. We're gonna unbox it, see what's inside, set it up in the Carew 16 and cook some pizzas. Now, if you're using wood in your pizza oven, obviously the easiest way to get hold of it is to source it yourself. Obviously this involves chopping down trees, you've got to cut it all to the right size, and it can sometimes take a year to a year and a half to season and dry out properly. So Uni supply these logs, they're kiln dried, they're already cut to the right size and they're from a sustainable source. It all comes supplied in one box which makes it very easy to start cooking your wood fired pizza. So let's see what you actually get inside. All of these are oak logs, which is great for pizza cooking because it burns hot and it burns for a long time. So right away in the box, we get these fire lighters. You get eight of them, they're the wax wool type. I really like these actually, I think they're the best type. You get these five inch bits of kindling to get your fire started. You get the medium four inch oak chunks, and then you get the larger eight inch oak chunks as well. So that means roughly in the box, you get about 25% of the kindling, 25% of the four inch chunks, and about 50% of the eight inch chunks. So it's important to mention that this kit is designed to work just in the Unicaroo 16. They do do a similar version with smaller chunks designed for the Unicaroo 12. If you'd like to purchase any of this wood from Uni, I'll put links in the description. It doesn't cost you any more money, but it helps me out with a bit of commission so we can carry on making these videos in the future. Now I know we'll get some questions about how long this is gonna last or how many pizzas we'll be able to cook. At this stage, it's very early to tell. So let's fire up the Carew 16, cook a couple of pizzas, and hopefully that should give us some idea. So to get things started, I've set up the fuel basket with a few pieces of the five inch kindling with some of these fire lighters in between. Once we've lit the fire lighters, I'm gonna put a couple of these medium sized chunks on top to really help the fire get going. As the fire burns and gets hotter, this wood will turn to ash and disperse. Then we'll put these bigger logs on top. That's what's gonna give us the nice rolling flame what we need to cook the top of our pizza. So once you've pushed your fuel basket all the way to the back, it's actually much easier to add these larger chunks. Now, even though these chunks have been designed to fit in the Carew 16, they are still quite big. So you might need an ax on standby to chop them in half if, uh, if they are too big. Because it's not a good idea to have any wood poking out of the fuel hatch here. The door needs to sit on properly to provide the proper airflow. So our wood chunks are in with our fire lighters down here. So now it's time to use the trusty blowtorch to light this and get things going. So now those are lit, I'm gonna leave this for around 10 minutes and we'll check back and see how things are getting on. So after just five minutes, those medium sized chunks have caught really well. Because the wood is kiln dried, it means it catches fire really easily and it heats up really fast. So we're 10 minutes in and already our oven is at over 300 degrees centigrade. Another interesting thing I've noticed is there's no black soot on the glass screen here. Every time I've cooked on wood only before using this oven, I get a lot of soot on this screen. Because these logs are kiln dried, they burn more cleanly. That means there's less smoke, which in turn means less soot on your glass door. So let's see how we're doing with the wood. So that's starting to break apart really nicely. It's about time we added another chunk though, I would have said. I'd also like to mention getting yourself one of these. This is the uh, coal poker that I use for the Kamado Joe there. 
Just having something like this makes it easy to rake around your coals and move things about so you can fit more wood in. So this time I'm going to add one of the 8 inch longer oak pieces. And that fits in really nicely because it's designed to work with this oven. So it's been about 20 minutes now and oh my god, look at this fire. Wow. I honestly think using larger chunks that have been kiln dried is giving me a much better fire than I've had before. After about 20 minutes, the oven's up to temperature, so I'm gonna go prepare a pizza and we'll see how it cooks. So I cooked three pizzas on the Unicaroo 16 this evening and as you can see there is still plenty of heat left in there and that wood is still burning. Overall I used three pieces of kindling, two of the fire lighters, two of the medium sized wood chunks and two of the 8 inch wood chunks. So I would say from that one box of these logs would provide you for about four cooking sessions. That's on average of doing four to five pizzas a session. So I had a really good experience using the kiln dried logs. Those larger chunks meant I had to top up the oven less often. The fire was really hot and it burned really clean. And even after cooking all those pizzas, we've still got no soot on that glass screen. Now because the wood chunks are all cut to the right size, it makes it very easy and hassle free. It also gives you a really consistent burn and I was getting much better results than the wood that I've dried myself in my garden. Now, because this is a natural wood, you do get a lot of ash on the stone. So I would recommend if you're gonna use this wood to get yourselves one of these wire brushes as well. I would also recommend you get yourself a poker. It makes it very easy to move the logs around in the fire. So overall, my review is very, very good. If you'd like to get a box of these logs for yourself, you can check the links in the description. Make sure you're buying it for the right oven because they are different for the Unicaroo 12 and the Unicaroo 16. The other thing to consider, of course, is the price. At $24.99, it's not exactly a cheap source of fuel, but you are paying for a premium kiln-dried oak cut to the perfect size for your Unicaroo 16. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And remember to give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time for more pizza-making videos.